Sometimes it's like you've been waiting forever. Western Mass rivers have been just so high. Not unfishable, but the kind of high that makes you say, I can fish a pond, I can fish a lake, I don't need to kill myself in a river. Now here we are on the 2nd of May, and the river's finally gotten to a place where I feel like it's fun fishable. Because when you fish for a variety of species like I do, you might as well have fun fishing and not try to kill yourself, right? So here, I'm gonna check out my favorite Western Mass River right now. First time of the year, and see what happens. I just had a nice bash on the streamer. Caught me completely by surprise, of course. Ooh, there was a flash. There it is. Oh, he missed it. Oh, oh you saw that probably. There is it. I saw him flash when it hit the water, but he missed it on the hit. And they miss streamers a lot, but it is exciting. There he is again, same place. I'm going to let that guy calm down. I think I got him fired up. Oh, we'll see. Over there in the bubble trail. This pink streamer I've always had good luck with. Oh, there's another flash. Got somebody's attention, but no cigar. I've had three hits. Just had another hit. A little roll cast action into the bubble trail. I have a feeling there's one that just wants this. Mm. Nice presentation on the roll. There's definitely guys that want to cooperate here. It's just that they're not killing it. They're, I've had a couple bangs, but nothing that's just outrageous yet. So I'm going to leave this pool alone for a time and move up. And they're blowing up my little streamer here. You know, they're, they're blowing it up, but I'm 
Gagging, I just missed another one. Oh my god, glasses on. Yeah, you know me. I'm gonna go flash here. This one doesn't have a bead on it, though. We'll give it a run. Now, that was a great hit. He came right out of the water. I wish I had that on film. I wish I had the hit on film. He hit that streamer by coming right out of the water. It's very cool. I should have turned on the camera because he he had <laughs> he had already taken a swipe at it. Nice little brown. Look at this guy. It's all yellow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me see if he's got the fence of oh he's been in the river. This could be a baby that was born here. Or just a stocky that's how look at how healthy he looks. Look at this little guy. He's a nice one. Look at those fins. Beautiful. Probably last year's stock. Beautiful brown. He hit that so cool. He missed it the first time. I threw back. And he came right up and out of the water and landed on it. It's like something you see in the Mako shark world. Let's see if we can do a repeat. You notice how quick that happened. Bam. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Yes. A feisty one. He hits the streamer hard. He almost pulled the pole out of my hand. Yeah, that's not a bad size smallmouth. He's not like George Smallmouth, but he's not a bad size one. Hit the streamer. Look at you. Well, hello. They give you a great fight. And they're great to have in the river. So, May 2nd, I got my first smallmouth here in the Housatonic River. He thought he was a brown. Did you see what he was laying? He really did. He thought he was a brown trout. I thought it was a brown trout too. There's another one. That's a good brown right there. Or a pike. Holy cow. Almost pulled the pole out of my hands big time. Wow, he killed it. Gotta get the line on the wheel here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here he comes. Into the soft water. There he goes. He's just not cooperating. Well, it's very different catching these guys at this time of the year than catching them in the summertime. Here he is.
Not as big as I thought. I thought he was a much larger fish. The way he hit, or she, not bad though. Hmm. 15, 16. Beautiful hit. I just saw one come up to the top down here. Yeah, again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna run the streamer. And then I'll throw some dry flies, maybe. We will see. It's definitely mayflies up. And here's our friend, the stinging nettle that I was telling you about. You can see it right here. We can pick this at this size. And we can put it, you can boil it down. You can mash it up. There's a lot of stuff you can do it. It's supposed to be wicked nutritious. If you're thinking about that kind of thing, you add this to your diet, it's good for a whole bunch of different things, according to some. According to some, so it's hitting yourself in the head with a hammer. But, stinging nettles. When that gets a little bigger, and you walk through that, you're going to know you did. If you're sweating at all, your life will get interesting quick. So, you might not be somebody that wants to bring fish home out of a river that is... Uh, well, in this case, it's catch and release, so don't do that. But you can keep fishing portions of this river if you're crazy because the PCB levels are very high. You don't want to eat these fish, so let them go. But the point is, if you got to bring something home, look at what we got going on here. This is May. We got knotweed, very edible, very harvestable, and it's an invasive. This stuff is going to be... 12, 15 feet high on this river bank in another month. But when young, it's a tasty treat. Eat the leaves, eat the stems. Really good. The leaves are much more mild than the stem. The stem's got a little sour, earthy flavor. The leaves, a lot, I'll tell you, they're a lot better than dandelion. And then you got the nettles, stinging nettles, which are great edibles if you're into health food. And if you want to work at it and make a pastel out of it or anything like that, oh, go ahead. But you can bring something home from a river that is a little the worse for wear over the last hundred years, but is cleaning up rapidly. Look at this elm tree. It's just beautiful at this time of the year. People don't really appreciate it. They appreciate the flowers, but they don't think about the foliage and all the different color foliage as it comes out, the little tiny differences in greens and reds that the spring offers. I've always thought that. A lot, of, a lot of painters paint the fall, but look at the different greens that the spring gives us. The human eye can see more shades of green than any color. Now answer me why. And like and subscribe. So it was a nice day on my favorite river. First time of the year, a little bit of action. That's all I want. Come here for a couple hours, catch three trout and a smallmouth. Look at some ducks. Look at those guys. Beautiful scenery. Enjoy some time in the world. You get a sense about this river, which is really coming to life right now. And it's going to be a good year on this river and elsewhere. <laughs>